if you see the major region of india we have alluvial soil here right and this whole portion we have red soil so you cannot draw this map right now you would get it many places okay don't need to draw this but you will find it in many places so first we'll start off with the most important soil in india alluvial soil alluvial soil so where would be the places of alluvial soil guys so alluvial soil the indus ganga brahmaputra plain and the delta region of major rivers right where you will find alluvial soil so let's understand the structure and write down alluvial soil it's mostly available soil in india it is the most available soil in india about 43 percentage about 43 percentage of soil of india is alluvial type and it covers an area of 143 square kilometers and it covers an area of 143 square kilometers then second point it is widespread in the northern plains and river valleys it is widespread in the northern plains of india and river valleys are they found in peninsular india alluvial soil is alluvial point soil found in peninsular india no i said where the deltas of big rivers like krishna godavari kaveri you find alluvial soil so right down in peninsular india they are primarily found in deltas and estuaries in peninsular india they are primarily found in deltas and estuaries now these are important statement and you have to by heart you have to remember all these humus lime and organic matter are present in alluvial soils humus lime and organic matter are present in alluvial soil okay so when it comes to see this is how you should know alluvial soil okay this is the region you know now it is rich you know in lime humus right it is deficient in phosphorus okay these are the things you should know without making mistakes nahi write down it is highly fertile it is highly fertile it is highly fertile come on okay there they are found in the in this ganga brahmaputra plain in this ganga brahmaputra plain narmada tapi plain and how are uh, alluvial soil created guys it is created from that location itself or is it transported it is transported very good so write down they are depositional soil transported and deposited by rivers and streams they are depositional soils which are transported and deposited by rivers and sea the sand content decreases from west to east of the country the sand content means sand means bigger particles right so the bigger particles in alluvial soil generally decreases as we move from west to eastern part of it why can you see one of the reason why bigger particles like sand are found more in the west part and in the east part they are found less because most of the river run from west to east direction bigger particles would be deposited there they will carry the smaller particles clay and silt with it simple logic right very good sand contain now new alluvial is called as khadar i have already made you write this part the new alluvial soil is called as khadar and the old alluvial soil is called as bhangar so already made you write this the old the new alluvial soil is called as khadar and the old alluvial soil is called as bhangar then write down the color is light gray a in color light gray to a uh, ona light gray 
to ash gray in color texture sandy to silty loam or clay you can find all it you can find it in sandy silty onnu uh, veru amal sir sandy silty loam or clay so texture sandy to silty loam or clay then rich in potash another important point so rich in potash humus lime organic matter these are all present in your soil rich in potash poor in phosphorus underline poor in phosphorus done so you know the major alluvial soil regions of india maximum in india almost 43 percentage 